Hi right, YouTube, just thought I'd do a quick video on ephedrine. Um, if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll know I've put on way too much weight and I'm going to start losing weight when I'm going back to the gym. Well, when we're going back to the gym now. And I've used ephedrine before. I'm not using it now, um, but I know that it does have some really good properties in terms of losing weight and that's why I tried it before. So when I took ephedrine, um, I took what's called an ECA stack, which is ephedrine, caffeine and aspirin, and that came in like one pill, and it had, I think it was 20, 20 or 30 milligrams of ephedrine, something like that, and then caffeine and a little bit of aspirin. Now the aspirin is put in there, because uh, aspirin thins your blood, and when you're on ephedrine, it raises your blood pressure, so this is to kind of counteract it. Now the caffeine is put in to stimulate your nervous system in the uptake of ephedrine and to give you energy at the same time. So the ephedrine, it's got many bits and pieces you'll find online of it could possibly do this, it could possibly do that. You know, it can kind of do this, it can kind of do that. But what I can say for sure that it did do was it was an absolutely fantastic appetite suppressant. When I was on ephedrine, I just lost it, just completely lost my appetite, I was forcing myself to eat nearly all day. Now that's good, obviously as long as you do it, because you don't want to just stop eating altogether. So I made sure the majority of what I did eat was still good stuff, even though it was a lot less, I kept it good. So I had a lot of chicken breast, turkey breast, general meat, keep my protein intake out, because obviously I was weight training still, and I was just adding in some more cardio to help with losing weight, burn more calories. and. What I found was, over the period that I took it, I felt good, I felt energised, I didn't feel unhealthy in any way, it didn't give me any side effects, and I was dropping weight. I was dropping weight like crazy. I mean, I did, what was it? I think it was about 180, 84, 185 pounds. And for me, a healthy weight without me getting big and muscly, just being pretty lean, is around 160 to 165 pounds. So that was my target. Okay, and I had about six weeks before I was going on holiday. So I took the ephedrine, and in the first three weeks, I managed to drop down at 18 pounds. Then I got ill, not because of the ephedrine. There was a rotavirus that was going around, and my brother had it, and then he gave it to me, and I had it. And I got really ill. So I didn't take any more ephedrine, and I didn't go to the gym for about three or four days. Then I went back on it and I didn't feel as good. Now whether it was because I was still a little bit ill or not, I don't know, but it completely put me off it. I felt jittery, I felt shaky, and I could feel like it was reacting with me. When I had it before, I didn't really notice that I'd taken it, I just felt awake, alert, there, good gym sessions, and I was cutting what I ate. Whereas when I took it again, I kind of felt a bit buzzy, like I'd been on some hyping pre-workout. So I stopped taking it. But I can't say that that was because of the ephedrine. I think maybe it was because of how I was after I was ill and I should have probably left it longer after recovering to take it again. But because we were going on holiday so soon, I wanted to keep it going down. So ultimately, ephedrine as a weight loss pill, it's good for your appetite suppressant, but from all the other stuff online, I can't really give it that much credibility. I think from what I was eating, because I must have only been having maybe a thousand calories a day, and majority of it was protein. And your body doesn't store protein, it only stores the protein that it's using. Everything else is flushed away, so you don't keep calories of protein. And protein doesn't convert to fat or to carbs, or do you know what I mean? It doesn't do any of that. So, I was probably only having a couple of hundred calories of storable carbs and fat a day, which I would burn through. I'd burn through them before I'd even done my workout. You know, your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate, is what your body uses in a day to run, okay? How much petrol you're putting through your system every day just to keep going, and then exercise on top of that. So if you have like 2,000 calories a day, and your BMR is 1,600 calories a day, and you exercise, and burn 400 calories a day, then you're evening out. If you exercise above that, burn 800 calories a day, you're effectively taking 400 calories out of you every day, which should then result in reduced weight. But it can result in increased water retention as well. 
um, especially if you're new to training, you can retain a lot of water. So people think, oh, I've put on weight when they're trying to lose it, but it's your body coping. So it's hydrating more, making sure you don't go dehydrated. But as for the ephedrine, it's a good appetite suppressant. I've never tried any other appetite suppressants. I've got one coming uh, over the next couple of days that's turbo cuts by Pure Labs. It's got quite good reviews. Hasn't got ephedrine in it, um, but it's meant to be really good for suppressing your appetite. So I'm gonna try that and then force feed myself the good stuff that I wanna eat and it helped me cut out feeling like I really want a snack. So just gonna give it a go and see what that's like. Um, that's pretty much it for the ephedrine video. Uh, we'll be uploading more. Jess is gonna upload a couple of videos uh, to do with the stuff she's bought and gym clothes for girls and stuff like that. So keep tuned, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and leave us a comment down below. Thank you.